Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The Archbishop of the Anglican Churches of Kenya, that is Odessa Pitt, has come out to blow up. And whatever he was just narrating, it is clear indication that, ladies and gentlemen, we have problem when it comes to our judiciary. We have a big problem when it comes to our judiciary. Olesa Peter has come out to lay his argument correctly when it comes to the decision and the judgment that the Martha Comes judiciary came out ruling about the registration of the LGBTQ organization. As far as the Archbishop is so concerned, He's saying that when it comes to the decision that come from the judiciary, this was out of the context that he reached out Martha Kome even to ask her several questions. And he never came out hesitating to go deeply and deeply understanding why is that Martha Kome is coming out to contradict some issues when it comes to the judiciary that he, she is leading. So this is whatever Olesa Pitt came out saying. And have uh, allowed LGBTQ to be registered as a named Jew in this country. One of the questions I ask the Chief Justice, because I called her personally, and I asked yesterday in the media, when an association is registered, the articles of associations are clear. Because they spell out what that association is going to be. If you register a football club, we all know they are going to play football, isn't it? If you register uh, a circle, we all know that they are going to lend money and keep credit for people and uh, help people acquire loans. And that's why the articles of association will spell out. And I asked the Chief Justice, and I'm asking Kenyans, what are the articles of association of LGBTQ? Well, we all know that they promote homosexuality, and I asked the Chief Justice, is homosexuality no longer a crime? She says it is a crime. Then how do you legalize people who are going to promote the crime? Then I ask her the second question. Now that you have registered them, using the article that Kenya has freedom of association, when bandits in West Pokot want to register a bandit association, are you going to register them? When Al-Shabaab want to be registered as an association, are we going to register them? Or Mongiki or any other outlawed group? These are the questions we must ask ourselves as a Christian family. This attack is not just an attack on humanity but an attack on creation and the creator himself because god did not make a mistake to pronounce that adam is lonely and when he was looking for a helper he did not go for another man he went for a woman and that's how god has designed it and if we go against the natural order that human beings, animals, and even plant science is telling us today, the pollens have both a male and a female. And until the male part of the pollens meet the female part of the pollen, fertilization happens and bearing of seed will happen. So how can we allow ourselves to go against the natural order God has created and pursue things that do not satisfy. Because I don't think a gay relationship satisfies. It's a fallacy. It is, uh, you know, it is just driven by money and people who want to pervert what Christian faith is all about. You have seen me stand against my church in England. And I said this to the Archbishop of Canterbury. Has now the church in England uh, removed homosexuality from the list of sins that the Bible calls sin he could not answer then I said why do you bless it in the church 
He said, I'm blessing people and not the sin. Then I say, but we bless people in their context of where they are. If I bless you in the context of a business, I bless you and your business. If I bless you in the context of a family, I bless you and your family. If I bless you in the context of a farm, I bless you and your farm. But if I bless you in the context of a gay marriage, I bless you and that marriage, which the Bible calls sin. Then I ask the last question. In whose name are you going to bless? In the name of the very God who says it is sin? Are you going to invoke the name of God? What I want to say is that let us stand firm, the Christian family, and say no to what is not right before God. The West is introducing new agenda items in the Christian church. And one of the table already in discussion is to bring what they call gender neutral language and change the Bible to remove anything male or female. And the same question I ask, what will become of our doctrine of the Trinity, where we believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? How will we recite our creeds, which is the fundamental of our faith? I believe in God the Father, the maker of heaven and earth, and in the Son, Jesus Christ. The Son is a male. Then I ask, the Bible is full of personal stories. How will you tell the story of Abraham? How will we tell the story of Moses? How will we refer to Moses? What name are we going to give to him? Or Jeremiah? Or Deborah? Because they want to remove both male and female. Or Eve? What are we going to do? Friends, the devil is on the offensive attacking the Christian faith. Let us stand firm in prayer and deepen our faith in the Lord. May God bless you and bless us together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is whatever Archbishop of Anglican Churches of Kenya is coming out to narrate for us. I was shocked in that bit of the part uh, that... Um, he came out saying that now there is a conversation of removing this issue of gender names, male and female. So if now we are reaching at a point that we are no longer going to have male and female, how are they going to describe the personality? Because I think um, the direction we are going to is a direction that is going to affect our fundamental rights as you should be called a male someone should be called a female now you're being told there is a right that they are fighting to entrench into the law and even they're planning to change the the the, 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 the writings in the bible and they say that now we don't have female and we don't have male so i was just shocked uh, the narration of or i said as he came out blowing and blowing secrets and the truth on how he came out asking the chief justice of the republic of kenya martha Kome, on how her court because she is the leader of the judiciary and when it comes to some matters you always of course when it comes to the matters of judgment sometimes when it is so complex they always refer to the chief justice so i think um, the ruling is creating a lot of conversation across the republic of kenya and not only in the republic of kenya but across the world you saw whatever uganda did so that is whatever olesa pit came out asking and uh, as per what he has been hearing from other churches across the republic of kenya uh, across the world and also when it comes to the tech of the leaders of the churches and that is what he came out asking martha Kome the same thing that if it is about registering bandits how will you come out with context to register the bandits or al-shabaab 
And that is the question that he came out asking. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.